Hello folks, welcome to the first episode of IB uh, Electronics uh, World and today we are going to talk about how we are going to create a new project on MPLAB XIDE. Um, so we are going to program uh, to start actually a new project for the PIC microcontroller 24 and I will go through step by step in order to show you how you can easily generate a, a new project. So you need to go to the new project. You need to select microchip embedded and standalone project and then next. If you're going to program a PIC24 you need to straight away type PIC24 as I will do. Um, HJ 128 GP 502 but in your case if you're using a different microcontroller you can find the family or straight away add the, the device or over there and then once you select the device you need to click next here you are going to choose the uh, the tool that you're going to use for in order to program the microcontroller in my case uh, I have two options I can use PIC PICKIT3 which is an external uh, programmer or because I have an embed embedded also uh, uh, microchip PIC24 so I can use uh, an alternative which actually it's not here because I haven't connected yet but in that case I will use PIC83 if you have the newest version you can use PIC84 and then because I have used the PIC24 and it's uh, the compiler is uh, XE16 and it's mandatory to choose that it forced me to, to select that if I had a different chip, let, chip let's say PIC18 probably it's going to show me here XE8 um, so then next then you need to select your project first project I will give the name of first project you don't need you need to it has to be one word then first project you can just use underscore per, first project and then finish so on the left hand side as you can see here uh, we have the first project and we need a source file in order to write the C code so you need to open that right click new and you need to, to generate a, a main uh, file you need to give a, a name which I'm going to, to name it as a main because it will be the main function the main file actually and then finish and once you do that it automatically opens a new page here before we continue it's very important to include some libraries because it's very handy and you can it will be very helpful in the next episodes I will explain more details about that but in this episode I will uh, go through the header files and how you can add them so you need to go to the header files to the left side here click right right click and then add existing items so you need to go to uh, your computer C and then you need to go to the program so I'm using Windows and Mac probably it will be slightly different but you need to find the microchip and then the compiler you are using and probably you have a newest version or oldest it doesn't matter it's better actually to update in the latest version because they are sometimes they are changing and then you need to go to the support file I'm using P24H in your case probably if you are using different microcontroller you need to go to a different location and then H and I will find my microcontroller which is this one select ok and it, you can see that the new file .h the header file has included and then another cool library 
header file you it's the pick e30 you need to go to the genera generic sorry h and lib pick 30h i'll explain later on why it's very cool header file um yeah so in order to include these two files you need to type below this uh, hashtag include open brackets this kind of brackets and then you need to write exactly as they have defined here the names otherwise it will not recognize and it, it, will, it won't work so peak p24 hj 128 gp 502 and then hashtag again include you can press tab and it will automatically ah sorry here it shows me an error because i forgot to press that h and here, include again and then lib lib pick 30.h so in that case we have include both header files and here is the main function which we are going to we are going to include the program in that case uh, we are going to just uh, control one pin of the microcontroller so we can use, let's say, the A, uh, A0. In order to find, so it has a very cool also feature here. Uh, you can open a device on the browser and go straight away to that library. And you can find your microcontroller. In my case, it's much specific here. And we are going to control this uh, RA zero which is an analog pin and we are going to blink an led actually we are going to activate it as an output and then later on we are going to blink the led but before we go in that stage i would like to open these libraries so if you double click them it will automatically open them in a new seed so the pic 24 it has all the initialization so for the inputs, uh, outputs, 3C, uh, LATS, port, and in the library it has a very cool function which is the delay, which I will explain. Don't worry too much at the moment. So the, the key in this point is to understand how you can set an output. So in order to set an output, you need to go into the main function you need to write trees a bits dot trees a it's automatically suggest you and i can click here it's equal to zero so it just you need to remember zero is output one is input so now with the slash slash it, you can comment and the compiler it will, it will ignore that that bit here so it will compile all these bits of codes but not this one so you can write uh, initialization of the pin uh, a0 so this means port a0 as an output and then we have set now as an output and we need to uh, actually set it on or off means on provides some voltage 3.3 voltage uh, off that means we don't have any voltage in that pin so if we have an led we can blink on the led we can turn on the led or we can turn off the led so in that case if you want to do that once execute the code open one time the led and then that's all finished you can leave it as it is by typing lat bits again so you are saying trees trees is the initialization of the port to set it as an output and then bits and you specify the exact 
the exact pin, which is the A0, and LAT, it is latching register, so you are setting actually the specific pin dot lat uh, zero equal to one. So in that case, turn on the LED. So we have set it on the LED. Uh, this point here is A. <laughs> so I'm just specifying only that that the A0 pin. You can obviously set uh, the whole port as an output, or you can send the half bits as an, uh, the, let's say, the four pins as an input, and the other four bits it depends on how many pins you have as an input or output, and etc. But in, in, our, in our case, in order to turn it on and start toggling the LED, so that means on and off, on and off, on and off all the time, you need to create a while one loop, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and you need to transfer this bit here. And in that case, you will open the LED, and in that case, you will close the LED. You will switch off the LED. But in that case, it, will not, it won't be feasible to your eye because you need to have some delay. But for the delay, I will, I will talk about in the next episode. So this is just an introduction to the MP Lab uh, XID just to familiarize yourself and how you can create very fast a new project. Um, so pretty much that, that's all. If you do that, you need to remove that, just comment out or delete that. And that means in the while loop, it will continue, uh, go uh, again and again and again, again and uh, until you depower the, the microchip. So this is the infinite, infinity loop. Um, yeah, that, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you like this video and you want more videos like this, uh, subscribe and I will see you to the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.